So we're looking at midpoints in this video, and you can see from this example that the red dot there is right in the middle of the line. If you count it carefully, you'll find there's eight squares for the length of that line. So it's four from the left, or you can go four from the right, go backwards, and you get the value of one for the X coordinate. You will also notice that the Y coordinate stayed exactly the same, threes all the way. Now there's a clever way of working out this midpoint and that's using the average the average of five and minus three so if you add them together you get two and a half of two is one and let's have a look at this first point you can see the blue cross is representing the midpoint so it's obviously three across and four up so that's the value we're going to put in here three and four but you can also see I hope that from one to five is a length of four. Half of that length gives you two, and so this blue cross is two from the left or two from the right. Uh, now, the other thing you can do is average the one and the five. So one plus five is six, half of six is three, and that's another way of getting that value. Now, the four for the Y coordinate has stayed the same. Uh, for both of those points A and B. All right, first point. Now, uh, these ones here, you will see that there is no diagram. And there's a hint. What is halfway between six and two? So one way of doing that is averaging six and two. So six plus two is eight, and half of eight is four. And you'll see on this one, the Y coordinates stay the same because they're both twos. So that's pretty straightforward for the Y coordinate. Okay, now number two, we have got vertical lines. So let's take A and B. So in the middle, you can see that's pretty obviously right there where my mouse is pointing. That's one across and three up. So we're going to put one here and three. Uh, now, if you think about uh, what's happening here, the X coordinate has stayed the same for B and A and the midpoint. So that X coordinate stays the same. But the Y coordinate has gone from two to a four. It's halfway between two and four, but it's also the average. That's what is halfway. So two plus four is six, and half of the six gives you the three. It's another way of doing it. Let's have a look at this one without. Um, without a diagram so you can see the x coordinate four and four is staying the same so that's going to go in here and if you look at the second values the y coordinates the hint is what is halfway between two and minus two two on one side minus two on the other and you've got zero right in the middle and you can also do the average two plus and minus two is nothing or zero and half of zero gives you the answer uh, Finally, let's have a look at lines that are sloping. Got a nice little example here, and you can see the midpoint. It's basically putting the two first bits together, and so you're finding halfway between. Across is four squares, so we want the midpoint of two squares. Up is eight squares, so we want to go halfway to four. Let's have a look at this example here. So here, we're asked for A and B, which is this line. Well, that's a horizontal line, which we'd already practiced. So uh, let's have a look at E and F, because that one looks a bit tricky. So you can see the midpoint is right in the middle there. It's two squares up, so it's halfway up. It's three squares across, so it's halfway, one and a half. So that coordinate is going to be 3.5 to the right. This is E, F. So we're going to type three and a half. And the y-coordinate coming down is 1, 2, 3. It's coming down, so it's minus 3. 